We just got a package. We just got a package. We just got a package. I wonder who it's from. Today, my friends, is a monumental day in history for the van life gaming community. Why, you ask? I'll tell you why. Well, if you've been following me, you would know that I live, travel, and game out of my van. And one of the biggest hurdles I've had with my lifestyle is maintaining a good and steady internet connection because I live completely off grid. However, that all changed a couple days ago when SpaceX announced that Starlink is now available for van life gamers like me and maybe even you. And if you don't know what Starlink is, it's essentially a satellite internet service designed by SpaceX that allows for anybody around the world, wherever you are, to have internet access. And theoretically, the way this is supposed to work, I could literally be on top of a mountain just like this one and have high speed, unthrottled, uncapped internet. So when that announcement was made a couple days ago, I smashed that order now button because I am ready to take van life gaming to the next level. And the day has finally come, my friends. Starlink arrived just yesterday, and today we're gonna unpack this thing, we're gonna hook it up, we're gonna point it to the sky, run some speed tests, and even game on this thing to see if the hype is really hype. But before we get into all that, I just want to remind you guys that if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to let me know by liking, commenting, subscribing, and turning on all notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Now with that being said, let's do this thing. Let's freaking do this, bro. Let's freaking go, bro. Come on, dude. Let's do it. <sighs> All right, so we've got our trusty camping table laid out and ready for the unboxing. And the moment that we've all been waiting for. Moment of truth, here we go, baby. You gotta make the sound effects. If you don't make the sound effects, it's not that epic. Whoa. This packaging is really cool. Here are the feet of the satellite and the satellite boy himself. Oh my gosh, dude, this thing is meaty. Wow, but I like the way it looks. It matches the aesthetic of my van. I'm pretty excited about that. We've got some instructions here, and I believe this is the router. However, I don't see an ethernet port on this bad boy, which is a little weird, huh? We'll look into that. Okay. Oh gosh. Looking at the instructions here, um, it looks a alarmingly simple to set up. Based off this really small instruction book we've got here, all you have to do is connect the dish to the modem, power the modem, and then open up the Starlink app, and boom, you've got internet? That sounds a little too good to be true, but that's what Elon says. He says that's how you do it, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so the dish is officially sliding in to the feet. That was a nice, satisfying sound. Okay, so now that the dish is set up on the table, we're gonna run this cable into the van and then set up the modem and plug her on in, baby. Okay, everything's plugged in. Now to plug it into my outlet down here. This is a big moment, everyone. I'm about to plug in the modem. Are you ready for this? In three, two, one. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. Oh, look at it, it's rotating. Dude, this is too cool. I don't know why I'm so stoked about this right now. It just, I don't, this is so futuristic. But before we get too deep into the Starlink speed test, I need to tell you guys something pretty exciting. So listen up. If you're interested in living like I do, you know, living and traveling all over the country and being able to take your house and everything you own with you on those adventures, 
Well, now is your chance because Omaze is offering you a chance to win an Airstream Caravel 20FB and a Ram 1500 Limited truck, which isn't quite a van, I know, but honestly, I wish I had this set up sometimes because having the ability to park your Airstream at a campsite and not have to pack up and move everything every time you need to make a run into town to get groceries or something is such a huge plus, and I daydream about this luxury all the time. And if you want that luxury yourself, you can enter for your chance to win the Airstream and the Ram 1500 at omaze.com slash fine print. And what's great about this is that if you enter the sweepstakes, not only do you get a chance to win an incredible prize, but you're also supporting a really great cause, the Mutt Nation Foundation. This is a nonprofit organization with a goal of finding a forever home for every shelter animal. Mutt Nation supports animal rescues all across the country, provides reinforcement for the shelter adoption experience, and strives to educate the public about the beneficial impact of all of these actions. So if this is a cause that you would love to support while also getting a chance to win an incredible prize of an Airstream and a Ram 1500 limited truck, visit omaze.com slash fine print or click the link in the description of this video. Okay, before we connect to Starlink, I wanna let you guys know that I am connected to Nomad Internet, which has been my internet solution for a couple months now. However, while Nomad Internet does work well because it uses cell phone data as opposed to hotspot data, the problem with it is that you need to have cell signal in order for the internet to work. And right now I'm connected to Nomad Internet and I'm gonna see if I can do a speed test so we can get a general idea of what sort of speeds we're getting with Nomad before we connect to Starlink and do a Starlink test. And just for reference, I am in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado right now, and I have little to no cell service. So I highly doubt we're gonna even have any sort of speeds reading on the speed test. Yep, and there you go. The test can't be completed due to a problem with the network. Try again later. So we, are gonna try and connect to Starlink. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, there it is! Connect. Dear Starlink, please work and just outperform Nomad Internet and just change the game. Oh, what is, what is happening? It says no internet. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, oh, I, 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 a web page just loaded on my screen. Google just loaded. Okay, let's do a speed test. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is happening right now. We are about to do a speed test on Starlink in the middle of the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Come on, Starlink. Come on. My connection was interrupted. Okay, that's interesting. That's not a good sign, we, we don't like that. Okay, so this is interesting. It says that I'm at my unexpected location, which would make sense if I didn't have portability activated on my Starling account, but I do. And I'm just thinking maybe it just takes a couple minutes or maybe even hours for it to update and let the servers know that I have portability activated. And if that is the case, I might just have to let this sit for a while until it fully calibrates, and then I'll check back in, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna look into this and I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and my theory was correct. After waiting just a few minutes, the dish connected to the servers and the servers told the dish that I have portability and now everything's online and we've got internet. And I decided to whip out my gaming setup and bring it outside for dramatic effect, but uh, it's looking kind of cloudy now and it's making me a little nervous, but I've already committed, so we're gonna, we're gonna do this thing big time and if it just starts raining, that'll be good content, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Speed test happening in three, two, one. Bah! Now, I wanna say that this speed test isn't like super accurate because 
I am wirelessly connected to the modem, I'm not hardwired. But either way, it's gonna give us some numbers to have some sort of point of reference. Right now, the download is 165 megabits per second. Holy crap, that's incredible. The ping is a little high at 79, and the upload is 7.35 megabits per second. The upload could be a little higher for me, but you know what? We are in the middle of nowhere, so I'm gonna take this. However, I wanna do another speed test just because the numbers are gonna vary because this is satellite internet. Satellites are coming and going all the time. Let's do one more speed test to make sure this is accurate. Okay, ping is 55 this time. Not too bad, not too bad. Download is holding up pretty strong here. I'm liking these numbers. I'm really liking these numbers. Well, there you have it. The second speed test is almost just as good. The ping is better at 55. The download is 77, which is lower, but it's still good. And the upload is 7.45, which is good enough to live stream on. You need at least six megabits per second. So, I mean, for me being in the middle of nowhere, this is freaking incredible. I'm super happy with this, and I cannot believe these numbers exist with this, this the internet, I'm, I'm like freaking blown away right now. This is insane. But we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna play at least one game on this internet to make sure these numbers hold up. So, I am gonna get ready to play some Overwatch because that's my game of choice, y'all already know. But you can't judge me for my gameplay. It's been a while, so uh, just, if I start sucking, just admire the view behind me, I guess. I'm gonna do a quick play match, and I'm gonna do support. Because I'm a supporting kind of guy. Okay, I am gonna play Moira, because it's easy. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I can't really see the screen here, so uh, <laughs> if I suck, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna blame it on that. So far, no rubber banding. Everything's looking good. Everything's feeling good. <laughs> Heal this boy, gotta heal him. Heal him up, heal him up, heal him up, heal him up. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything right now. I got you, I got you Winston, don't worry. I'm healing you up. Come on. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, freak. <laughs> okay, despite me being really off at the game right now, can we just admire how well the game is playing on this internet? Like, we are in the middle of nowhere, in the mountains, playing a competitive game. There's no rubber banding, no lag, nothing. It is smooth as butter. Oh, oh, oh. No, they got him. They got our boy. Oh my gosh, I really can't see. It's too, it's too bright outside right now. Freak, he's above us. He's above us. Get him! Got him. Yeah, taste my ult. Wait, that was a poor time. Poor timing. Woohoo! Ah! Ah, run, 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 run! <laughs> this is insane! Dude, we are holding this off really well. Yes! Dude, we're freaking killing it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, it's getting intense. Oh, oh, run, spread, spread out. Here it comes. Oh gosh. Dude, we got this in the bag. <laughs> no way, dude. Oh. Oh my gosh, soldier, get out of my way. No. No! Dude! I mean, come on! Dude! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, there you have it, guys. This is the peak of Van Life Gaming, and I cannot wait to show you guys all the cool things I have planned now that I have reliable internet that I can take anywhere in the world with me. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am because things are about to change here on this channel. We just leveled up a significant amount. Me and you, 
We were down here, but now with Starlink in the mix, you and I, baby, we are at the tippy top of the mountain. Quite literally. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And if you are, let me know by liking this video, commenting on it, sharing it with a friend, making sure you're subscribed and you have all notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of my future van life gaming content like this. But there you have it guys, I gotta start packing up here because I'm starting to feel some raindrops and I gotta pack up all this gear. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Hope you have a killer freaking week, peace.